everyone, welcome back. This is Valakar, and welcome to episode 11. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. So, been doing some more progress. Let me try to remember how to get back over. It is. Okay, there it is. So, we're going to get back over here. Notice I have the wings from yesterday on. Been doing lots of mining. See my durability on my pickaxe is really low. I also threw a diamond on it to increase that durability a little bit. And you notice this back corner back here is where I've been mining. I really like that. Those wings, I don't take damage from a fall. It's really nice. So I've dug down, pretty much a stair type dig down. Trying to work my way down. I've found stuff in the middle of it. Just exploring. I haven't collected yet. Which I'm thinking about just saying that we're going to go down this episode right now. And collect the wool that we need. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I don't need to worry about falling. I don't think I need to worry about are the mobs are down here. So I've seen a couple of things down in here. I saw some chests. I'm just trying to remember where they are. It's an area down there. There's a chest here. Got some hammers. along with the other hammer that I found. So here's some coal. I actually wonder what will happen if I dig it out with that. Um, that's really dark down there. I think that would be a certain death if I fell down there. Uh, this iron stone. It's kind of bluish color. Makes me think of water. Copper vein, or not vein technically, massive amounts of copper that I found were down here. And actually, it's a different direction to get to it. I don't even know. There's copper down there, you can see. We got copper down there. This gold. Yeah, it is gold. There's a bunch of compressed coal or char gravel, sand, and dirt, and I just got attacked by a zombie from behind. Get back up here. Unfortunately, this is calling to every other zombie that I'm fighting a zombie here, so we need to start working our way back up. Um I don't remember exactly where this other area is. Can't really do too much digging with my pickaxe like it is. Here comes the zombies. I know that other the space time wool that we want is down below. All of this in the middle. If it's if I dropped straight down here, you'll probably find them. Oh gosh. Not cool. Gold pants. Zombies coming from this way. Come here, little guy. Yeah, zombies coming from both directions. Um, even if I do get down there, getting back out will be a pain. Coming some more. Like another pair of gold pants. A 
Unfortunately, you start fighting zombies, they all start showing up. It's probably not a good thing to do. There's lots of tin over there. Skeleton trying to shoot me with explosive arrows, not cool. And he just did. It's a bunch of gold. More hello, poison arrow, zombie. Hello, gravestone of mine. Hello, spider. So we're all the way down at the bottom. Came here, so we'll be safe. Hello, lavender wool. Um, hello, thorns and protection. Ooh, carrot. So now we need to wake our way back out. Um, got lots of stuff there. Creeper. So we got massive amounts of grout. Got lots of copper ore there. Some dense, is that dense iron? Yes, dense iron. I'm gonna take some dense iron because we all know greed is. <laughs> Okay, everyone, I'm back. Sorry about that. Apparently, people have started shooting off fireworks outside, and my dog, being the pain in the butt that he is, decided that this was perfect time to start barking about it. So, light up this area down here. More yellow right. I have more yellow right than I need. Okay. Well, I guess we could. Got two quests that we can claim in here. Um, first one is detection task of the. We're getting lavender wood, wool, rotunda, and another red heart canister. So claim the reward, but I can't. Don't have enough room. A feather. Put this stuff in here. There we go. Plenty of room now. Claim the reward. Throw this hard in. So, now, watch me die. Another heart. You can't kill me. I got too many hearts. Alright, we need to get out of here. I think I need to get up there somewhere. Dig out Ferris Ore, because it's going to need, might need that later on for some Invar. It won't hurt. If all else fails, I can use it as digs to pillar my way straight up. Which actually, maybe not straight up. All right. It looks familiar. Got some torches around here. I find my way out. Hopefully this will be the way out. Nope, not the way out. But it should be maybe on this side. Because I keep going up. 
There is a lot of ferrous ore down here. If I find that one type of stone, I should be good. See, the nice thing is, I'm not taking damage when I fall. So, it's one thing that will keep me alive for the most part. Ten over there. What is all this? Lost. What is? Oh, those are slimes. I thought that was gold or diamond over there. I'm surprised there's not diamond in here somewhere. Okay, we need to start trying to find a way up from here. There's something over there. But I really don't want to try to go through there. There's so much stuff that I have no idea where I'm at compared to... Oh shoot! Hello creeper! Okay, wow. That kind of... snuck up on me there. I needed to definitely get myself out of this area. Great, another creeper. Okay, well, hopefully... Another creeper. Oh, shoot. <sighs> okay. Yeah, and I hear fireworks going off outside. So this is definitely not the place I want to be, because I have not been on this side at all. There's a potion I just saw flying, I think. Well, goes against all the basic rules of Minecraft. You don't dig straight up, and you don't dig straight down. Hello, chest. And hello, chest I just got. So I'll take this feather. Now we can work our way back up somehow. Get my bearings. Ah. Okay, I know where I am now. That's not the stairs I'm looking for. This is the ones I was looking for right here. Okay. That's much better. And now we're back out. Got our next wool. Got it turned in. Take it to the Victory Monument. And we'll do another couple quick stop-offs real quick. Him in there, that, that. Ferris or Yellow Variety, I'll throw in there. How much I got? 37. That's plenty. Throw 
those guys in there. Put all these guys in there. We'll open our bag, see what we got. <sighs> Yay, more books. Hoping for something that would have been kind of useful, but it's okay. What do we got here? Brass hammer, steel hammer, and obsidian hammer. The Dire Hammer 20. So I'm going to throw these in here. I actually got the Mighty Smelting book from making some bricks, making a Tinker's Construct. I think I was actually surprised that I got that. Okay, got my wings back up there. Let's take a look at these bo other quests that's unlocked now. Um, quartz challenge, protection, crystal growth accelerator, nice charger and reward bag for ten charged quartz and ten nether quartz. Should check under your walkways in the rotunda. So. This gives me my stuff for more emmy stuff. Got this stuff here. I'll make my tool forge. Okay, other quests have unlocked teleportation. Use melee forces to teleport to anyone around here. Force will be consumed in the process. Magnetic force to make a magnetic force. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Ender parcels. With Ender letter, I can send all sorts of parcels to my friends. Right click the username of the receiver, place items in the letter, and then send it. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Spectre Dimension Key. Management the spectral key, I will access a Spectra Dimension. Wireless redstone lever, make a wireless lever. Spectre Sword. Can mob with a normal mob when it has a 2% spawning a specter. However, this mob is called with a specter sword. Get a 40% chance. That's three reward bags and glass. Specter glass. Lamps of darkness. Lapis lamps while glowing do not seem to influence mob spawning. Well, why would you want that then? A lamp that makes a mob spawn. Yeah. Gintos. When fulfilled Ginto, they can revive anyone who recently died as long as they haven't respawned yet. Well, gee. Can I use it on myself? Probably not. In viewing station, you used to create various imbues given certain abilities. So, yeah, there's lots of stuff we got. We got tar. So, third rotunda has some bit. Or I can smelt to get tar, use some crafting, so a bitman to make tar. Ring of fire. At the bottom of the rotunda is a pool of flow with some vulcanite ore. Hmm. Interesting. I get blaze powder. Is this netherrack? It looks like netherrack. Ooh. Very nice. I also did collect a few more or er, these guys. I got this from uh, one of our bags, but also made the blue and the brown one. I don't know if I showed that or not. On um, this one, I could probably do with the blue and 
Looking like blue. Pink would be the red. Gray, I need to find black. Orange. Uh, yeah. We'll see. So something sweeter. I need pumpkin pies. And for pumpkin pies, I need eggs. And I have three eggs. I need at least ten. For my domestication, I need twenty of them. Got thirteen feathers. So we will swap this out for the rotund. I think. Also, we'll go to Victory Monument first. And collect a couple of the things we can get here from our There's my leather. There's the egg. So let's go more leather, one more egg. Go and grab this lavender wool. Put it down next to sky blue. We're getting there. We are getting there. So, get spatial I.O. Move them over here. Unload the area. Rotunda. Load the area. Open my bag, pull up my biosphere. Go and throw those in there. Where is that sign? There it is. Okay, throw these guys in. Let's see what we got for this place. Lots of mob spawny areas. I don't like it at all, especially right now. Okay, well, see about making some torches. What am I thinking? Torches. Look at this colored glowstone. Ah! Under attack, under attack. Another stupid zombie, you're gonna call other all the other zombies to you now. Or to me. Okay, reach new level on my Funkmatic. Zombie coming up behind me somewhere. So yeah, this is going to be not fun, I think. Creeper, bunch of mobs over there now. Running time. Dark area, I don't like dark areas. Okay, this guy. I notice for some reason the skeletons do not show up as a kill quest. I hate 
eight skeletons. Let's stand them. So we're gonna leave this area real quick for a little while. Guys, I really don't want to die right now. So we do have some other stuff we can do. Get this guy in there. Okay. So we're gonna make another run over because Kim Lab should be finished with part of what I needed to do. So I got this set up here with a transfer node pulling water, throwing the water in here into the chemical decomposer. Because I found I was needing hydrogen, hydrogen, pretty good amount of it. So keep feeding water into it, and I get hydrogen and oxygen. And then this is made my Marvimus carbon and hydrogen. So here make some nitrogen and take these guys make my condensed matter. And the lever this is made from uranium and iron combined. And make dense matter into dark matter. Then I get my dark matter. Combine two dark matter to get red matter. Which I actually have the red ma matter in here. I need ten red matter. I have eight. That'd be seven, eight, nine. Ten. And I got extra stuff. Can throw this stuff in there. This will take a while. Even at its rate. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'm going to let it build up. Okay guys, I'm back and... Uh, okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Apparently they waited until I started recording again to fire off some fireworks outside again and of course my dog freaks out over it. So I got the red matter I need. So now we got our bioalchemy produced. Which completes quest for a green heart canister and a reward bag. Hopefully that's a really decent reward bag. Greater, I guess I'll have to do. And we'll open our bag. Flask of experience, flask of poison, and flask of fire. Alrighty, I I have no idea work with any entity as as long as there are forge hooks from Oh. Okay, I have no idea. So we got this stuff again. Um it's no real use other than doing that. This is a Super fuel, I guess you could say. Or I can turn it into a metric bit ton of theobromine. As they got larger, it gets to be even more of the theobromine. So, bioalchemy, I have no idea what good it is. 
So we're going to go back down and go back over to the observatory actually. So I got two full layers of hearts. Run over here hopefully before anything else spawns over here real quick. And light this level up. We had witches in here. Hello spider. Goodbye spider. I'm hoping that I'll be able to kill them off before I get hurt. Too bad. Dang it. That's right. Attack the person. Witch, not me. Uh, oh. So. Alrighty. So. Of course, it's a skeleton with a magic bow. I don't know what your bow does. I don't want to know what your bow does. Explosive shots? No, no, no. Bad, bad, bad. What is this? I don't think I like this at all. What is this? Stairs going. Oh, good God. Okay, so got the first level done. Um, heard that there's dense quartz that's charged underneath this floors. So it's like a decent amount of stuff under here. Actually, let's still touch on those. Um, that's lots of them. So I got 23. How many do I need for that quest? Now 10. I just have to find nether quartz now. Oh, well, nether quartz is easy. Actually. Hello, Nether Quartz. Hello, Creeper. Hello, another Creeper. I need your gunpowder. This is really round. A little skeletal skeleton. Fast creeper. This place is really Long. Creeper head. Oh, seriously? Chest right there. Projector lens. Block updater. Advanced block updater. Advanced item collector. That I seriously. In case you didn't notice, this is where I came in. So I seriously just came in right next to it and didn't even notice it. So I got this one completed. Let's see how much room I got. 
I don't think I have enough room. Shifter lens. And we'll see. So, charger, crystal growth accelerator. Grab these charged crystals again. And I grab a couple of dense netherrack ones just in case. Okay. Got five and two, three, four, five. I think I threw some in the bag. That's okay. Okay, we want to go back on up. You got this area lit up fairly well. I think this will be the end of this episode. Um, first part of Rotund is completed. That is interesting area inside. I don't want to go in there just yet. I'll uh, work on collecting some more stuff for the next episode. Probably open up my biosphere and try to collect some more cookies. So we'll actually throw some of this stuff in here. And we'll open this chest as our last thing for this episode. Wow. 30 rails, minecarts, minecart furnace, and minecart chests. Which actually is not bad because I had some other minecart things. And another one which I was going to melt down the minecarts. I never could open them. So I'll look into some of this stuff, figure out what I'm supposed to use for the crystal growth accelerator and this stuff. And I will see you guys next time. So, guys take care. And have a good new year. And good night.